Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to see how to draw a line graph using Excel. So, we have a value there. So for example, the distance and the speed. So, we want to plot a curve distance versus, uh, like speed versus distance, basically. In horizontal axis, the distance and the vertical axis, the speed. So, how can we do that? Uh, first of all, we can go to insert and then we have a uh, line graph here, the scatter plot. So scatter for I may ever click for you come at a blank as well. Then we have to select the data. Select data. Then here the chart data range. We can say, okay, this is my chart data range. And here they have already plotted some uh, diagrams. Uh, so we can delete it. Click and delete it. Because maybe we don't want it like this. So select data. So how 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 can we do that? Like add. So series name. So this is the name of the series. Uh, x value so we just click and this is my x value enter and what is my y value y value is this speed so here we can see uh, here this is the y axis values and this is the x axis value 80 0 okay so if we see the graph then this is distance speed and time uh, so they have <clears throat> taken all these things as their uh, title since we selected this we can uh, modify this the distance versus the speed versus distance okay now <clears throat> uh, we can uh, see the axis title and also data level so here the for 80 this is 10.29 so for 80 the speed is 10.29 and for 50 this is 7.85 so 57.85 so this is the corresponding value now if we want to basically uh, reverse the axis like from uh, this is from 0 to uh, 90 uh, so if we want to reverse the axis like we, we want to start from 80 and then end up with 10 how can we do that so we can also insert a graph like this, or we can just copy this. Since this is the same thing, we can just control, uh, copy, we paste it here. <coughs> now, <coughs> here we can, what we can do is, is select. So it's was basically the same thing, select data or all those things. Now format, chart area. We we'll go to this option. Maybe I zoom it a little bit, okay. Here the option because we are since we are thinking about the horizontal axis, horizontal axis. click the axis options. So axis options. Here we have different options. If we just click values in reverse order, then it's done. So this is pretty simple. If we just click the values in reverse order, like zero to maybe we, we just change the maximum value to 80 so this is 0 to 80 graph so here the horizontal value exists this option exists and if we just click here the axis will be reversed that's it thank you for watching